Hi, my name's Sean, coming to you from Bar Beverages. How many times have, have you, as a bar manager or a bar owner, heard that sound? Psst, psst, psst. And what is it? It's a leak, it's a faulty pump, or a leak at a pump that is causing your soda system not to work correctly. We're here today to teach you how to solve that problem in the short run until you can get a beverage dispensing professional out to fix the problem uh, in the long run. Um, but it happens. And what, when that happens, when you hear a pump go bad, pss, 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 what you can know is that you're not getting the flavor that that pump is attached to pushing product to your bar guns. So you may understand that if it's a cranberry or a cola or a lemon lime pump, that uh, you will lose that flavor uh, after I teach you what we're gonna do here. Um, we have two forms of pumps here. We've got the standard flow jet pump and a sure flow pump. And there's two connectors that connect the gas lines to these pumps, as you can see here, and as you can see here. And the interesting piece of these connectors that is very helpful to us is there's a valve on the end of these connectors. So, see that valve? So, when we disconnect these connectors from the pump, while it will disable the soda system's ability to deliver syrup, that flavor syrup, to the bar gun, uh, it will stop your leaking CO2, and that is in fact what you hear uh, coming out of your soda system uh, is excess CO2. Psst, psst, psst. Now, what I'm gonna show you is relatively easy. The challenge is, is finding the pump uh, and where that pump may be located in uh, your establishment. Because God knows they're never located in a place that are easy to find. The way to listen is to um, uh, listen for uh, a proximity of where that pump is and listen for the specific pump. The other way you might be able to test it is to see uh, on your bar gun which flavor is not actually flowing through the gun. Um, and to disconnect, all we need to do uh, is grab a flathead screwdriver and pop a connection pin right there. And this will pop straight out. Sometimes you gotta pull them out. But as this pulls out, this will bring back into integrity you, the CO2 portion of your system and you will no longer hear this pump spitting uh, excess CO2 uh, or because the pump's gone bad. So if you disconnect this, this CO2 uh, connection to this pump and you still hear the spitting sound, you've disconnected the wrong pump or you've got multiple pumps that have gone down at one point. If that's the case, all we need to do is put the CO2 connection back in there until it's flush and with our flathead screwdriver here click. The same can be done on the SureFlow pump. It's a little easier with a pinch. Pull this straight out to a click and this will pop straight off. Again, uh, if this does not solve your problem, uh, meaning you continually hear the pss, pss, pss sound. Uh, my suggestion is to place this back on, push it until it's flush, connect it, you hear the click, and find the pump that has actually gone bad. Hope this helps and gets you through the problem until you can get a beverage professional to get out and to actually swap a pump for you.